Hi, Mr. G Shave here, or Gary, Geraint, whatever you want to call me. Um, yeah, so it's the day before I shoot off to Cornwall, um, so I'm doing a, a double head and face shave today. Uh, I'm going to try and get it done as quickly as possible, so I'm going to do all the prep. Uh, I've already wet, you know, I've obviously had a shower, uh, I've wet my face down. I'm going to get the pre shave on, get it all ready, and, and go from there. But just as a uh, a heads up, I'm using, it's a bit of a menthol shave today, I'm using Prorazzo Sensitive, um, a new soap to the den, um, really cheap, Boots Cool Cologne Lather Shave Cream, so that's it there, there's the cap, it's still got its silver thing on it, so I'm going to take that off, and screw the lid on. So it's ready to go. So there it is. Um, <clears throat> followed up by Boots Tea Tree and Witch Hazel. Followed by Prorazzo Aftershave. Followed by Nivea Sensitive. So it's a bit of a combination between a menthol, Prorazzo, boots and sensitive shave <laughs> bit complicated but <clears throat> those were but i'm still trying to use up some of the soaps i haven't used on camera yet so um i'm going to get myself ready pre-shave the head pre-shave the face and then i'll come back at that point so i'm back um i forgot to mention what the hardware was i've actually done all the prep so i've got the uh, perazzo pre-shave on I'm using my Beetlejuice brush head and face. Um, I'm using on my head the leaf razor and on my face I'm using the Rockwell 6C with plate setting 3 on it. So that's what I'm doing and I just wanted to show you, I don't know whether you're going to be able to read all of this, see how far I can back up. So. One of my shirts for my whole day will be keep calm and drink beer. So there we go. <laughs> In the holiday mood already. Right, let's get some cream on the brush. And I'm just going to lather the, the head and face at the same time. So I'm just putting in, I'm going to put in a decent amount because I've got to do both. And we'll go straight to the face first, because I've got more bristles there. So how's everybody's week gone? I hope you've all had a successful week. Um, I, uh, you know, I, I, I've been watching the news lately and seeing Spain's, for, you know, basically if you go to Spain, you've got to lock down for two weeks. Um, if you come back to the UK, so you've got to be in isolation for two weeks. I, I do feel for the people that were already out there. I think it's been on the cards for a while that, you know, everybody's been saying there's a second spike coming and it was always a risk. Um, going abroad. Uh, and I think now that it's actually happened, people are starting to think, think twice about going abroad for their holiday. Uh, they may even have given up on their holiday completely this year. Um, because even in this country we're getting secondary lockdowns. I think one's just happened in Manchester today. We've had one in Leicester and various other places. Uh, so things aren't looking amazing at this point in time. I, I, you know, I, I think I've voiced my opinion that uh, I fully expect a second wave. I wasn't expecting it this quick. I thought, you know, while it's still warm, 
the virus won't spread as easily but of course with the pubs reopening and restaurants and you know various places that are indoors the spread was always going to increase I think it's always it was always a risk but we you had to balance it with getting the economy going so it's a difficult one um, you know you've got to got to get the economy going to pay for the NHS who are treating the, the, the sick so you know it's whatever you do you're gonna get shot down in flames for whether you and I have to say I, I'm not affiliated to any particular party but I don't think it, you know whoever whichever party is in charge they could have done a much better job at the end of the day we weren't expecting it nobody dealt with it before we've reacted rather than been proactive but to be fair I think every government in the world has been the same um, would opposition parties have done a better job? Well, they can say, say so now. In hindsight, they can say so. But they weren't in power at the time. The government that is in power was in power at the time, and they have to do what they've got to do. Um, yeah, there's going to be a lot of analysis and everything else afterwards. But, you know, if I'm honest, I can't say that they've done a good job or a bad job or, you know... But they've done all that they can do, considering the circumstance. You know, when they lock down suddenly and abruptly, they get criticised. When they leave it for a week or two weeks before they lock down, they get criticised. And it doesn't matter who's in power, it'll happen. So, that's just my ten pence worth. Um, not into politics. Uh, at the end of the day, yes, I vote, but I don't vote. I'm not loyal to any particular party. I, I'm what you would call a swing voter. I, I vote for whoever fits with my beliefs at that time. So, right, let's go for it. Pass one with the grain. I'm going to try and keep this pretty quick. Still look like a mummy. Um, uh, and I'm going down to Cornwall, that could get locked down, you know. Um, although I think the instances of the virus are lower there, but having said that, there's a lot of people, a lot of tourists going down to Cornwall, and they could be taking the virus with them. So it's you've got an equal risk. Um, I don't think it matters where you go, but at least if you're in your own country, you know, you've got some control over what you can and can't do. You know, those poor people who've just landed in, um, in Spain that are now being told they've got to fly back just after they've landed. Oh, I think that's awful. I really feel for them. You know, my heart goes out to them. They spent all this money, and the likelihood is, if they do get the money back, they probably won't get it back by this time next year anyway. So, right, with the grain on the face, with the Rockwell. Oh, that's nice. It's got the Bluebird Razor blade in there again. And again, it's performing really well. I don't know the Rockwell 6C as well as I know the DE89 but I can tell straight away this is a very smooth shave. Tell you what, this menthol, oh, 
my head's freezing. I feel like I've got my head in the fridge. Yeah, so I'll probably post up a few photos of where I'm going <coughs> or the area, one or two of the beaches maybe. Um, whether I get the time today because I've got to load the car and everything, but we'll see. Um, I might, you know, when I come back, have, you know, add some videos in of my time in Cornwall. Right. More water, more ladder. Here we go. Second pass on the head. I may need to add more soap because, uh, you know, um, doing the head and face will require double the amount of soap or cream. There's definitely a menthol effect to the cream from Boots. Scent wise, I think there's lemon in it, there's citrus, definitely got some citrus in there. Uh, definitely got menthol in it. Not strong. Um, I think the main cooling is probably from the pre-shave. This is going a little bit thin. I don't think I'm going to get a third pass out of the lather in this. But it'll do for now. I'll put some more cream in for the third pass, I think. Um, in terms of the soap performance, seems fine. It seems to be dissipating a little bit up there. Um, but anyway, against the grain, it's very slick, I'll give it that. Just checking to make sure I was recording. Yeah, so it's very slick. Um, certainly does the job. But it does seem to dissipate a little bit. See, it's dissipating on the face a little bit, but the slickness is there, so I'm quite happy with that. Good test, though, doing the head and face at the same time. in terms of how fast the soap dissipates because it's got to stay on the face for longer. I'm enjoying this shave, I must admit. Very good shave so far on the head. Missing some bits there. And that 
that BBS on my head. I'm not going to bother doing a pickup on that. That is, ooh, maybe not. Yeah, that's done. Head is finished. Now for the face. So across the grain is up on this side. And across the grain on this side is across. Yeah, so if anybody's in Cornwall around St Agnes area, keep an eye out for me. Say hello. Maybe we can meet up in the Chiverton Arms. Um, they've got an extensive area outside that you can sit in. If you're at all worried about spacing issues, I shall certainly be sat outside anyway. Right, I'm going to put a little bit more, just a touch more of the cream on the brush, just to thicken it up a bit. Put the against the grain pass. I, I had been asked by, a, I think it was a gentleman from Pakistan to do this before. And initially I felt, if I stand too long, you see my legs start to really get very, very painful pins and needles. Um, and, uh, and can actually give way. So, right, against the grain, um, because of my back issues. Um, so I have to be careful, but in this instance, the only way I could do both shades, face and head, before I went away, was to do them at the same time. And I'm trying to be as quick as I possibly can. Right, across, uh, against the grain is this way on this side. I have to say that's a really smooth shave with those blue bird blades. I love them. On setting number three, wow, great blades. I'm going to get some other, get some more of those. Um, right, let's. Right, in comparison to the DE eighty nine and the Rockwell three number three plate, I would say there's more to pick up on this shave than the DE eighty nine, but I mean it's still very close. Now let's just make sure, no, my head's absolutely smooth. I don't know whether, it feels a bit sore around here. Don't know whether I've caught myself, doesn't look like it. Um, maybe a bit there, and a bit there. So I'm gonna go up. So as you can see, it's not quite as BBS as the, uh, So, here we go. St Agnes, yeah, lovely little village. 
Um, it's got a few beaches, it's got its own beach. There's one just along called Chapel Porth, which is a beach I like to go to. Um, National Trust Beach. So if you're a member of the National Trust, you get to park for free. But I warn you, it gets very busy. Um, so And it gets very busy early on. So if you want to go, you need to go early. Um, yeah, and then we go into Truro to do any food shopping that we need to do. So I'll be around that area for the next fortnight. My daughter isn't coming down. She's, she's staying here because she's moving into a house slowly but surely they're having to have a lot of work done to the house so um, my daughter isn't going to come down this time so she may try and come down for a day or two days or whatever at some point but when I don't know um, we'll see what crops up still a bit there but that's going to do for me I'm going to uh, tidy up now, rinse off, and I'll be right back. All cleaned up, great shave. Um, I'm going to use the Allen block. <clears throat> so, let's get some cold water on my face. Do this instead of the cold rinse. Oh yeah, I've definitely done something at the back there. That's burning like mad. Probably rushing it too much. I don't know. What are, can you see what I've done? <laughs> I'll probably see in the video after I've watched it. I'll probably watch it in Cornwall now. Got too much to do. I've got to pack up all my camera gear. Got to get everything sorted for the loading into the car. Um, and then we're off in the early hours of the morning. So, right again, there's no burn on my face and next to no burn on my head. A little bit of a warmth, little bit of warmth on my face, not a lot. Not unpleasant, that was unpleasant. But I think I've, I keep catching myself in the same place there in terms of, I don't think I actually break the skin, but I irritate it. I, I'd probably take a very fine layer of skin off. Because um, I can't, can't see anything there. Uh, yeah, so, right, where have I put the, there's the box. I just leave that open in the air just to dry off. Uh, I don't close it off. Um, As I say, if you get alum in your eyes, it's really unpleasant. But um, yeah, you've got to be careful. It's me rushing. Right, I'm going to get this off. And uh, put, get the head with the chaser on and finish up the, the shave. Oh, it's a, a really hot day here today. It's supposed to get up to, I'm not sure what it is in Fahrenheit, but it's supposed to get up to 32 or 33 degrees here in the Midlands. Um, so it'll be the hottest day of the year so far. Oh, that's nice. Um, I'm expecting this to sting a bit on the on the head because if the alum stings, the uh, the witch hazel does usually. Oh yeah, I put a bit more for the face.
Right, that feels great. Feels absolutely great. I'm going to put this over here in my shaving cupboard. Nobody's commented on this yet. I mean, it's just a cupboard anyway. It's just a white cupboard. You don't have to comment just because I said that. <laughs> um, right, <coughs> Perazzo Green. Great aftershave this. Good, great value for money. Oh, yeah, and that's burning in the same spot, so I've definitely done something there. But it feels great. Um, put a little bit on the face as well. Definitely has a chilling effect. Really nice. Really, really nice. Oh. And then straight on with the Nivea Sensitive. Again, I'm going to need to have a fair bit of this because I'm doing head and face. Such a nice shave. Oh. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I did. Um, as I say, I'll do this again when I come back in a fortnight's time. So I think that's the 15th of August. Um, and if, if there is anybody who is a subscriber who watches this um, and they're down in Cornwall, in my area, you know, keep an eye out. I'll probably be down on Chapel Porth Beach at some point. It's my favourite beach. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. All right, I'm going to say yeah, goodbye from two roses this time. So it's goodbye from me, it's goodbye from the leaf, and it's goodbye from the Rockwell 6C, goodbye from both of them and myself. Bye bye for now. See you in a fortnight.